we know that the Antichrist is going to blaspheme God. The Bible tells us this. Daniel tells us he blasphemes. Revelation tells us he blasphemes. Revelation 13 tells us that they blaspheme God. And then Paul tells us in Thessalonians, he will claim to be God. And, you know, over the years, as I have looked over this event, for the most part, I have noticed that the evangelical church has had this idea or an assumption that when the Antichrist claims to be God, he's going to walk into the temple, sit on a chair, and say, okay, turn on the microphone. Am I live? Am I going out worldwide? Special message from Donald Trump? Okay, here we go. Hey, everybody, I'm God, and I want you to worship me. Now, that is the manner that we have been told in the way it's going to happen. But folks, when does prophecy ever happen in an obvious manner? When does it ever happen in a way that is easy for everyone to see? It never does. So I want to bring something to your attention and put it in front of you so that we can all see together that we have evidence that Donald Trump has blasphemed God. Look at the screen right now. See what it says right there? Trump touts authoritarian vision for second term. I am your justice. And we have the soundbite, the video of when he says, In 2016, I declared I am your voice. But today, I add, I am your warrior, I am your justice, and for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution. Let's go ahead and play that clip. In 2016, I declared, I am your voice. Today, I add, I am your warrior, I am your justice, and for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution. I am your retribution. I'm not going to let this happen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we look at these things that he said, first of all, he says repeatedly, I am, I am. And I do remember when he said, I am your voice. But today he says, I am three times your warrior, your justice and your retribution, or in other words, your vengeance. Now, I want to take these comments and let's look at these and see if these words are blasphemy. And let me say up front, yes, they are. Because he's saying, I am, I am. He's taking the, the deity of God, thinking that he is I am. But number one, he starts out with saying, I am your warrior. I am your warrior. But is that what the Lord says? In Exodus 15, 3, it says that the Lord is the warrior and the Lord is his name. So the warrior is not Trump. The Lord is the warrior, not Trump. So when he tells the crowd and his followers and those Christians, those evangelical Christians who say grace over their meal and go to church, and say amen when trump says i am your warrior they have a choice to either accept it and receive it or reject it but to say that trump is their warrior means that the lord is no longer the warrior so exodus 15 3 goes away trump takes over being the warrior and then he said something else he said i am your justice what does the bible say about that in psalms 89 14 it says righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne the Lord's throne is inhabited by justice. In Romans 3.24, it says that we are justified by his grace through the redemption of Jesus. So in order for us to stand before God and have robes of righteousness and for God not to see our sin, we have to cover ourselves with what Jesus did for us, with the justice that he did. So thereby, he becomes our justice. He justifies us. It is Jesus that does it. In Romans 3, 324, being justified by his grace through the redemption that is in Jesus. So Jesus justifies us. And then two verses later, Romans 3, 26, to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. So in Romans 3, 26, it's telling us that God is our justifier and Jesus is our justice because it's only through Jesus that we are forgiven. So when we put that and compare it to the words of Trump, when he says, I am your justice, ladies and gentlemen, that is blasphemy. Donald Trump blasphemed God. So now we have two of them. He's our, our warrior. He's the warrior. No, he's not. Jesus is. Trump thinks he's our justice. No, he's not. But he says he is. And then he says he's our retribution. I am your retribution or your vengeance. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do I need to explain this one? Are we supposed to have an earthly man our vengeance? In Romans 12, 19, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, 
I will repay, says the Lord. So the Lord says he is our vengeance, and he's the one that's going to repay. That's Romans 12, 19, folks. There it is in front of you. So now we have three of them. So when Trump made the claim that he was all of those things, he was blaspheming God, folks. Plain and simple, ladies and gentlemen, he blasphemed God and he made himself to be equal with God. When he said, I don't need to ask God for forgiveness because I don't do anything wrong, he's making himself equal with God. If we actually look at these, we see that Trump has done it over and over. He's blasphemed God. 